welcome back. This is Arcade Night, and today we have an exciting adventure ahead of us. Not only are we going to officially start our first crusade by entering the Middle East, but we're going to unveil our first subscriber noble ever. So sit back on your comfy throne, grab a golden chalice of your favorite tasty beverage as we get ready to play 1257 AD, The Crowned Crusades! I must say the local lords here in Constantinople have been very welcoming to the king, very welcoming indeed. But it's probably because they know I'm about to go on a mighty crusade and hopefully crush one of their enemies who's right at their border is the Mamluk Sultanate. But before we go into the crusade and we march past that border and start our first crusade, I want to make sure you know everything I've done in the off season to prepare ourselves for this. And one thing you guys have been concerned about is what about our borders right next to the United Kingdoms? What about France? What about these other kingdoms? Well, the kingdoms I was most worried about, I sent many emissaries to uh, build a better relationship with them, especially France. So if I go to reports and I go to a faction relationship report, you see um, our relationship with France is at a 24. So I've done a good bit of work here. Crown of Aragon, we've got a two with them. And um, let's see. Also, I believe, yeah, the Holy Roman Empire, we, we've got a relationship of four. So a lot of our border countries, we've got a pretty good relationship, at least the ones I'm mostly concerned about. Uh, so what else have we done in the off season? Well, like I said in the last episode, guys, I have picked up so many goods and did so much trading to get the amount of gold to be able to support my army. I, I think we are in good shape and we don't have to worry about the finances. It gives me great pleasure to introduce my first subscriber noble and a fellow YouTuber, Marcus Aurelius. You know, Marcus has become more than a colleague, but a friend. We have communicated for some time now, and he's not only helped me out with my channel, but has become a sounding board for me, someone who shares all the challenges of operating a YouTube channel. So guys, I'd like to honor Marcus with a lordship in my kingdoms so that when the time is right, good sir, you will become a landed, my friend, most likely somewhere in the Holy Lands to counsel my son as he's king of Jerusalem and help him hold his new kingdom. Marcus Aurelius also had an Anno Domini series of his own, which took place in this part of the world around Constantinople. So I've essentially imported his character from that Let's Play into ours. So guys, if you're looking for another great 1257 AD series, check his out. The link is in the description below. Let's take a look at Marcus's stats. Um, he is pretty powerful. Almost as powerful as King Robert. He's level 34. King Robert is level 37. Uh, but Marcus is a powerful lord in his own right. Look at his strength. Look at his charisma, 27. He's got some great stats. Now, this was imported directly from his character um, from his previous Let's Play. I found all the stats and copied them exactly. Look at his prison management leadership trade. He did a lot of work on this character, and we're going to carry it on in this series. One-handed weapons, close to 300. And also, I have given him as close as I possibly could all the gear he had in his last series. But there's one thing I need to do. Good sir, we're going to give you... Yes, you are going to bear the cross like us. Ah, oh, that looks great, Marcus. Looks great. So he shall bear the cross just like my fellow companions, just like everyone in my army, just like the king. All right, guys. So... Now we're ready to start this crusade. So before we head over into the Middle East and officially start this crusade, I think you guys have pretty much figured out my plan. And I'm going to follow the first crusade, which in my opinion was the most successful of all the crusades. And we're going to invade through what is modern day Turkey up through the north. And I think we're going to try to take Tarsus first, Antioch, and uh, then head down to Tripoli. It looks like Safit may be a weak target by the time we get there since it looks like they're going to take it from the Kingdom of France. 
Uh, but that's the way we're going to go for at least the first crusade. Depending on how successful this first crusade is, we may, on our second crusade, go through these particular islands. I think that could be really interesting, especially uh, Nicosia right here. I don't know about this island so much, but definitely this one since it's so close to our territories or our potential territories and the Holy Land. I think this could be a nice addition. But we've got a lot of work ahead of us, so are you guys ready? Marcus Aurelius, are, are you ready to start the First Crusade? Subscriber Knights, are you ready to start the First Crusade? All you subscribers out there, are you ready to start this First Crusade? Oh, let's do it. All my fellow lords, I know you're following me. Let's cross the little sea. And yes, we have officially started this First Crusade. Okay, so... We're going to head to uh, Nicaea first because we need to pick up some more food, right? These are all friendlies now. All friendlies for now. Marketplace, goods. Okay, a little bit of food here. I, I guess we're going to go ahead. Well, we'll go ahead and bring that into our inventory. Let's bring that up to the top so it doesn't rot away. Uh, remember, we need, we need to fill our inventory up with food. I want to make sure our morale stays high as it can be. Okay, so, I guess the quickest way would be to head this through here instead of taking this long way. Yeah, let's head this way. I think we can go through this mountain pass. Look at this caravan that's been following us all the way. It's going to Acre. <laughs> it's been following us that whole way, and I still think I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of my lords. Okay, so let's go this way. I guess we I guess this is another another area where we can get a little bit of food. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, I'm full. Okay. Okay, that's good. Wait, wait, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, let's um let's go to the camp. This is what I, what I was saying. This is a great suggestion by one of you subscribers. We can manage our partners' in inventory, access their item pool. And now uh, let's go ahead and drop off all this stuff down here. And we can uh, go and collect it later and, and feed the army with it. But if we go to the marketplace, let's pick up the rest of this food. Okay, we have to be very strategic about this, guys. Very strategic because this is our only shot. I may have a little bit too much pork. It's too, too much fresh goods. My inventory, I think one of those are, is going to rot away. Alright, so... The other thing I want to do is see if I can go and hit up a brothel here and uh, improve the morale of my men. Ah, uh, it's too close. I, I did it in Constantinople, so I'm not able to do it here. And there's plenty of food here. Plenty of food. Okay, so I think we'll be set, guys. I'm not going to get that chicken. I've got too, much, too many fresh items in my inventory already. I, I think we're in good shape, though. Fresh chicken, we're good. All right, all right, so. Tarsus, huh? Once we get closer to Tarsus, there's that caravan again. Oh, 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 there. There's a first interaction. Still like, it seems like Savage still under siege. We still have a little bit of time. Where are you going, good sir? Where are you going? He's got mostly levy at the top. He would be an easy target. And I can easily catch him because of all of my knights. Yes, I am King Robert. Have you heard? Have you heard I'm invading your lands? Have you heard, good sir? Uh, I expect you to surrender or die. I'm going to charge the enemy. This is going to be a bloodbath, of course. I've got 200 knights. Wow, look at this. And my lion guard hold back. And um, knights hold on me. Hold on the king. Wow, look at this. This is insane. Where are they? Oh, they're all the way over there. Wow. Wow, that's that's crazy. Nightman. Gabri, follow me. We're, we're going to have to take it to them. In, in fact, I'm going to have the Lion Guard follow me as well. We're going to have to venture all the way down through this... This little valley, this is this is incredible. Look, look at all my knights. Look at all my knights. This is insane. 
Alright, here they are. Here they are. I'm gonna go ahead and send the knights in. Yeah, I'm not gonna go against all these men on horseback. I'm not a fool. Lots of archers, though. There we go. There we go. And here's their here's their levy. I'm pretty sure. Yep, mainly levy. Look at that. Have my knights broken through their first line already? Go knights, go. Yeah, the king has been preparing uh, a great deal for this, so I don't believe we're gonna get hurt too bad on our first um, interaction with these. With these infidels! Plus, this is a really weak, really weak army. Really weak army. Not a lot of horse archers. There we go. Good, good job, knights. Good job. Good job. Finish strong. Finish strong. Wow, what a battlefield. Look at that. That's where we started all the way over there. I still got men walking over. I guess a uh, few men got off their horses and decided to run over. That's hilarious. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and get out of this battle. Uh, see what's going on. So we lost none. We, we decimated them. As I thought, hmm, you're definitely my prisoner. I need to weaken them as much as I can. I'm not going to capture any enemies. That's just going to slow me down. I did get one, one knight out of the deal. Item pool. Ooh. You know, I can't really pick up any of this. I'm going to let... It's it's really not worth it. It's really not worth it. Now, nah, whatever. Pick it up. Pick it up. Okay, so... Let's head to Tarsus. Is this siege still happening? Yeah, yeah. Siege is still happening. Let's check out Tarsus. 528. Wow. All right, let's see if my army can arrive with me. I don't want to siege this. There we go. There's my army. Okay, so. Check out Safed again. Still under siege. Taking a sip of my tasty beverage, guys. A little, little, little nervous about this first siege. Or are we ready for it? Are we ready for it? Well, I'll tell you one thing. If they decide to attack us... We are prepared. We are prepared. Now, is Tarsus... It's only ladders. It's only ladders. We can take this. We can take this, guys. Right here and right now. And start this crusade off right. Let's do it. Let's do it. While, while they're sieging Safet, let's take Tarsus from them. Just like that. In a surprise attack. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Then Antioch is next. Oh, it's taking a while to build these ladders, though. Come on. Let, let, guys, when we're ready, I'm going to cut right back. Wow, that seemed like it took forever to build these ladders, guys. I couldn't believe it. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think all seven of them have joined me. Um, so, guys, are you ready? Are you ready for the first siege of this crusade? Let's go ahead and do it, guys. Let's go ahead and do it. All right, all, all men set up behind me. Um, if we have archers... Um, let's set them up over this way. Right up near the ladders. Infantry, hold back. I'll hold my knights back for sure. Infantry, I'll have you hold up a little bit further. Of course, we're going to have my Lion Guard, all my subscriber knights, and my subscriber noble Marcus Aurelius hold on me, and then have um, my Hospitalers hold back. Make sure that those gentlemen are holding back. Ooh, we're, we're losing quite a bit of men already. It's okay, Crusaders! It's okay! Ooh, what just happened here? This is, um... What is going on? What the hell is going on? It's like some sort of... Very strange. Very strange. I'm just in the infantry up right now. Oh, look at the prince. I know, I know, son. You need, you need, to, be, you need to be careful. You need to be careful. Oh, come here, come here. Oh, no! Shoot. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
He, my son's already been wounded in the first siege. This is not looking good for uh, his potential kingship, I must say. I need to give him some more shield. Th those archers are, are pretty tough. Let's bring these archers here. Let's bring them closer. It seems like there's this fog, this magical fog. And, you know, frankly, we don't have many archers. It's mainly it's mainly knights and infantry. Because uh, we, we know better. Those archers don't work very well. I, I don't think we're going to do any immediate setups with archers. I think we're going to charge right in with infantry most of the time. Yeah, I think that's the best course of action. Let's um, go ahead and bring up our knights a little bit closer. Get them ready. Get them more ready, at least. There he is. There's Marcus Aurelius firing. Firing on those walls with his siege crossbow. First ever subscriber noble. Uh, I know, I know, Marcus. It's not looking good on this first one. It's not looking good at all. We, we've lost quite a few men, indeed. Quite a few men. All right, it looks like it's time to send up some knights on the top of the walls, but I believe I will be leading the charge. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's go, let's go. Ooh, I hope they have a foothold on the top of the walls, or am I going up to my death here? All right, it looks like, it looks like we do. Oh, it looks like there are a ton of men there. I'm going to send the uh, knights this way. Oh, my goodness. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Got to keep moving. Oh my gosh. Alright, I gotta get out of this crossfire. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Oh, I see you. Here's my, uh, yeah, welcome to the Lion Guard, my friend. Oh, this is um not good. This is not good. I don't I don't think we're gonna make it out of this room. Shit. Oh gosh. Oh, that is a rough first siege. That is a rough first siege. Uh, King went in pretty strong there, and the uh, man. Oh, those men in the tower <laughs> totally surrounded him and his line guard. But I think I think we're doing much better now. I think once all the knights are trickling in. Oh, look at Marcus Aurelius is still around. And Sir John Swim. Marcus Aurelius is getting... Oh, my goodness. He is amazing. Look at all the kills he's getting. Much better than the... Uh, much better than King Robert in this siege. Ugh. His whole family has not looked good in this siege. His son taken down by archers. The king surrounded. Oh, don't don't let me fall. Let me get up there. Let me get up there. Come on, men. Let me get up there. Let me get up there. There we go. Alright. I guess that's okay. Where are you men going? Where are you men going? This way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Oh, shoot. Are there archers? Where are these archers? Oh, wow. This is, um... This is gonna be something else. Something else, indeed. Oh, this is great. This is great. Oh, that hurt. I got you. All right, knights. Charged. Keep charging, knights. Keep charging. Feel like we're getting close. Feel like we're getting close to something here. Oh, look at, look at all those men over there in the streets. My goodness. This is like some guerrilla warfare here. Oh, there, there are men everywhere. Surrounding us. All right, men, come on, come on. Push forward, push forward. Push forward, knights. Push forward, pilgrims. If only the king could see this. Oh, here we go. 
All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, more. Top of the walls. Top of the walls. Get up there. Get up to those towers. There, there are plenty of men up here. I'll take this side. Oh, they're, they're just streaming out. I think we've got it here. Oh, look at this guy. Hold back. Very good. Very good. Very good. Oh, it looks like looks like they've got his held up there. We've got more men coming in over here from the, to the top of the walls. I'm going to go ahead and send all men in at this point. Everyone, charge in. All right, there. there I see. I see them. I see them. Wow, what is this? Like some spice pits or something? Is there a better sword here? Um, yeah, I'll equip that sword. Alright, alright, alright. We're gonna do this, we're gonna do this. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Back to the starting point. They've got us running all around this, and Marcus Aurelius is still fighting like a beast. Oh, that's that guy. Let me help out. Um. Ooh, that hurt a little bit. Get my mace out. I seem to be doing a better job. All right, good. We met in the middle here. More men coming behind us. More men coming behind us. All right. Hold steady, knights. Hold steady, infantry. Right here. We hold this line right here. Right here. Charge in, knights. Charge in, infantry. Oh, man. They're, they're spreading us out. I'm going to help out the main, the main army here. All right, there we go, there we go. Oh. Kill that man. More men. Ah, so sad the king got ambushed. It's like they were waiting for him. But hopefully um, that was a great distraction to where the knights could come in. We'll have to pick up his whole family off the... Battlefield, though, unfortunately. Look behind you. Oh, you died. Right. Oh, no. That sucks. Let's see, who, who do I have this time? Here we go. Ah, shoot. There goes my shield. Wow. Wow. Getting decimated here. Getting decimated. This is bloody. This is so bloody right here. This is... Whew. I don't even know how many men we have lost. And they're actually pushing us back a little bit. We, we, we can't be pushed back. Oh, man. Looks like some of their best men are at the end of this. Yeah, there's a bunch of knights. Oh, 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 oh a bunch of knights. Oh, my goodness, guys. Oh, my goodness. Look how tough that knight was. Traitor. Traitor! Unless he was an infidel who stole some knight's armor. And who's an amazing warrior. Alright, so it looks like... It looks like we're getting so close. Oh, my goodness. There are Teutonic knights that are fighting on their side that are in this garrison? Oh, my goodness. No wonder it's been so tough. Did we get it? No? Oh, come on, come on. 
come on, come on, come on, man. Uh, Marcus Aurelius is still in there. He is unbelievable. Wow, guys. Wow, I cannot believe. I cannot believe we did it. I cannot believe we've done it. Sip of my uh, tasty beverage. Um, cheers to Marcus Aurelius. I, how many kills did you get in this battle, good sir? It was unbelievable. You led the charge, my, my good man. You led the charge. You definitely deserve some lands. Definitely deserve some lands. So let's see. We lost seven killed. That's not too bad. Uh, what did we lose? We lost two senior knights, four lesser knights. We have all, on, all knights, so we can expect that to happen. Um, pretty much everybody was wounded except for Marcus Aurelius, who is apparently a god on the battlefield. Allied casualties are pretty severe. We lost 86 men, 139 wounded. So all in all, we lost almost 100 men. And I think we, we brought to the crusade about 1,500. So it, it was... For one castle, that's a pretty good blow. I mean, we killed all of them, but look, they had Teutonic half-brothers, Teutonic knights that were fighting for them. That's just, that's unfortunate. So sad. Okay, so can we pick up any men to fill up our party? He looks pretty decent. Yeah, some of these men look pretty decent. I'm not going to take any bandits or anything, but... You know, the, the, the king is a wise king. He will take all the men he can to reinforce his party. But I'm not going to take any, any, any prisoners. Um, it's just going to slow us down. Only men on horseback. All right, guys, I think we're in pretty good shape. Let's sure, make sure these men... You should be in cavalry, good sir. Not in the lion guard. Absolutely not. Okay, so I think we're in pretty good shape. Access the item pool. Lots of good stuff. I'm going to have my companions pick up all of that. And um, I'm going to go ahead and defer appointment so I can get um, a free garrison out of it. But that's controversial because I have to go all the way back to... have to go all the way back to the United Kingdoms if I, if I don't hand this thief out now. To give it to a lord. Hmm... This is a tough decision, Marcus. What do you think? I think for now I'm going to defer appointment, see how many men I get in this garrison for free. But guys, you let me know in the comment section. Since I would have to leave and go so far away to actually talk to my wife, to give these lands out to one of my... Uh, give one of these lands to Marcus, uh, give one of these lands to one of my lords. I'd have to end a crusade and take a long journey. So... Let me know in the comments section, how do you feel about that? But I'm going to go ahead and defer appointment for now. Continue, and uh, let's see. We've got 72 men, so that's pretty good. A free garrison is not too bad. I think that's probably the best way to go. Um, but guys, let's go to the tavern and see if we can boost our men's morale a little bit. Is, is it time yet? Oh, very good, very good. My men are celebrating Let's go to the marketplace too. get some goods. Um, let's see if we can get rid of some of this day-old chicken. That's fine. Get all the food we can get, which is pretty good. Filling up, and uh, let's um, have all of our companions sell all the goods they have. Marcus Aurelius had 46 items for 3,000 gold. Thank you, Marcus. Very good. And guys, let's take a walk around the streets. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Don't worry, citizens. The king will not harm you as long as you do not touch my men and obey the king's laws. It's all good. It's all good. All right, let's go ahead and check out the castle. Very nice. Kind of meager. Kind of meager, but a nice castle nonetheless. Um, of course, my lady, you may leave. This has nothing to do with you. Well, guys, uh, this looks pretty good. We have taken Tarsus, and we have made our presence known. And it seems like the Siege of Safed is still going on. Maybe we could march to Antioch and, and take them out as well. Let, let's take a look at my, uh, my fellow lords. He's looking pretty good. He's fine. He's fine. Pretty good. 
It looks like it was spread out pretty evenly. If I worry about anyone, I worry about um, Lord Frederick. I don't think we have the best relationship. But, um, hmm. And he's got a castle. Any of these lords don't... He's got... I know he's got castles. Lancia's got tons of castles. Peter Denton has castles. Manuel Magus, I'm fairly certain you already have land. But any, any lords that don't have lands, who aren't landed, I will definitely give you land. No, you're, you're well set. But cause well set. Frederick, are you well set? You have Corfi Castle, of course. Yeah. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. That is interesting. Well, Marcus, it looks like um, you have the pick of the litter. You let me know, Marcus, which territories, which fiefs you would like to have. And when we conquer it, good sir, you will have those indeed. I'm sure you want a town, but um, Jerusalem will definitely go to uh, my son. But Tarsus does look pretty nice. That is a town, and it was conquered, and you did an amazing job. I, I, you killed more men in that garrison than anybody else, I must say. You did an incredible job. But guys, I am just so damn excited that we're starting this series, that this crusade has started out so well. If you enjoyed this episode, go ahead and hit that like button. You know it helps me out so much. Also, if you're not a subscriber yet, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Again, I want to thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time on 1257 AD, The Crowned Crusades.